both Butler and Stroll's lap times increasing. Uh, I still have time to catch them. Roger, we're on fresher tyres than they are. Push, push. Let's put the pressure on. Yeah, copy. Should be close now. Let's push. Aiden is in the pits. Aiden in the pits. Car in front is 1.5 seconds. Seen Butler soon. Let's keep it clean, please, Cass.
100 laps of fuel remaining. Okay, you're in the top ten. Four laps of fuel remaining. Okay, gap ahead is two point zero seconds.
we've only got two laps of fuel left. Our gap to the car in front is 1.5 seconds. This is your final lap, final lap of the race. The gap behind is 4.7 seconds. That's the end of the race. We'll see you in Park Fermi. Victory for the team from Milton Keynes then after a quality performance. continue to put the pressure on Aston Martin. That gap might still be a little too big to close, but for Williams, it's very much game on. Yeah, when I think back even just a couple of months, Crofty, I didn't have Williams pegged to be competing with Aston Martin. Both Jackson and Ackerman performing at their absolute best out there today. Well, they certainly were, and no sign of any disputes on or off track between the pair of them. Might they have put their differences behind them? Red Bull are our winners today after showcasing some incredible driving. There's been a huge push from them lately to stay competitive with the other teams, and they're certainly proving themselves. Good day today. Let's have your take on it. Solid performance out there today, Casper. You must be pleased. Yeah, the competition feels like it's fiercer than ever this season. And the team is working really hard to keep up, so we're grateful for every point we earn. Those points bring you a little bit closer to Aston Martin. Is that something you're particularly focused on during the race? How other drivers perform is outside of my control, so it's not really about beating Aston Martin. We want to finish as high as possible, of course, but I like to keep focused on my own driving and let the standings take care of themselves. We asked Evan Butler a similar question. He said, and I quote, Williams are a bit of a shambles. I don't think they're catching us any time soon. What's your response to that? I think it's my job to prove him wrong. Great. Well, that's everything. Zoe. Hey, Lils. 
Mommy says you're in America where the cowboys live. Yeah, Daddy's in America. Are you racing with cowboys, Daddy? <laughs> One or two. Hey, who's your favorite racing driver, Lils? You are. Just checking. Love you. Love you, Daddy. Hey, can I speak to Mum? Bye. Hello? Apparently she enjoys hanging up on you these days. <laughs> so it seems. All set? Yeah, all set. The odds are shortening on the fourth place finish for Williams. It's a shame. I enjoyed being the underdog. You've still got to beat Butler. We've still got to beat Aston Martin, you mean? That too, I guess. Right, you go and prepare. See ya. Bye. Fellas! Sell out crowd this, ain't? Casper, I haven't seen you since you announced your retirement. No. Well, fair play to you, mate. Takes a brave man to admit he can't compete anymore. <laughs> I didn't mean it like that. I, I'm, I'm just saying you're a brave man. I'm paying you a compliment. Now you're saying I can't compete? Nah, I didn't mean it like that. I just meant some have said that, uh, well, you're past your prime, that's all. That won't work anymore, Devon. I'm sorry, <laughs> what won't work? We know what you've been saying about us. Oh, I genuinely don't know what you're talking about. You know, I used to think you were just a gossip, Devon. Now I know you're a liar. <laughs> oh, come on! You guys, you guys used to be so much more fun. Used to get into fights, take each other out of races. We all enjoyed that. Oh, yeah, you know, it was very entertaining. Now you just mope around bickering over who said what. It's a bit petty, to be honest, guys. Seriously, you're supposed to be role models. Yeah, I won't argue with you, Devon. I won't win. Yeah, you do seem to struggle a bit with winning, to be fair. Yeah. And maybe you are right. Maybe I am past it. But he's not. And he's the better driver. <laughs> what, the rookie? He's only just got here. You do know the Mercedes seat is mine. The contract's as good as signed. There's just one problem with that, Demon. Huh? Enlighten me. I don't believe a word you say anymore. Tell him, mate. Uh, mate? I don't know who this is going to. Casper, you're doing great. Let's keep this up. Here's a butler ahead. Butler? You're closing on him. No theatrics, please, Casper. Yeah, understood. currently in P9.
Devon is a couple of places up on you. Sat in P8. Devon is a couple of places up on you. You're in the top ten now. Keep it up. Devon sat in P8. Closing in on Devon, Cass. Let's put the pressure on. Devon is directly ahead of you. The gap to the car ahead is 1.7 seconds.
Devon is directly ahead of you. Three laps of fuel remaining. Front is 3.8 seconds. Two laps of fuel remaining.
race over, take care of the car on the way in. Well, this season promises to end in quite the dramatic fashion. The tussle for the top continues, but in the midfield, Williams very much closing the gap on Aston Martin. Both teams have had a terrific season. Butler and Jackson rumoured to be in the running for that open Mercedes seat too. I can't wait to see how it all plays out. If you're anything like us, you won't want the season to end, but end it must. From here on in, every second of every lap counts. What a riveting season it's been. Red Bull put up an outstanding fight for the front position today, and it's great to see it paid off for them. They do so much for the sport that you can't help but be delighted by today's race win. That was an exciting race from our perspective. Let's have yours. Yet another victory over rivals Aston Martin today, Casper, and more speculation over whether or not you can steal that fourth place. What do you have to say about that? Until the season's done, well, that's really all it is, speculation. We'll try our best and keep pushing like we always do, but Aston Martin aren't going to just give up on fourth place. The competition is healthy for the sport, and I'm as excited as anyone to see how it turns out. Your retirement grows ever closer, of course. Is that something you think about? Yes, of course. It's easy to take a race for granted when it's all you ever do. But when you only have a certain number of races left, each one takes on a greater importance somehow. I think my retirement has allowed me to enjoy my racing a little bit more, and I'm grateful for that. Are you looking forward to your retirement? How will you spend it? I actually haven't thought about it much. You know, my wife, she tells me I'll miss all this when it's gone, and I keep brushing her off. I say, yeah, yeah. But I think, you know, I think she's probably right. Appreciate your time. Aiden. Casper, hey, we're closing in on Aston Martin. Yeah, good race out there. I think we can do it, Casper. I think it's on. You know it's not going to be easy, right? Well, the fights that can't be won are the fights you fight the hardest. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. Of course it does. Anyway, I'll leave you to it. Just wanted to say congrats. Yeah, you too. See ya. Bye. Ryan. Casper, debrief has been put back 10 minutes, so you've got a little more time. Okay, thanks. Great race out there today. Who'd have thought we'd been pushing for fourth just a few months ago? Yeah, well, you know what they say. The fights that can't be won are the fights you fight the hardest. Whoa, brilliant. I'll have to remember that one. <laughs> That's inspiring is what that is. You keep fighting those fights, Casper. See you at the debrief. <laughs> yeah. Bye, Brian. Brian. Casper! Cass! Cassie boy! Cassie boy? A <laughs> big day today! Huge! Yeah. The last race of your career. How does it feel? Well, I don't know. I guess I feel... Oh, I'm so excited, let me tell you. Oh, I'm like a kid at Christmas. I'm well, excited for my retirement. Oh, you're going to be great out there today. I can feel it in my bones. You're going to be terrific. 
Just remember what I taught you. Hmm. And what was that exactly? <laughs> Hilarious. <laughs> I sure will miss you, Cass. Let's go out with a bang, eh? Not literally. <laughs> right, I'll leave you to it. Be brilliant. Be wonderful. Good luck. Hello? Hey, Cass. How's it going? Yeah, fine. Just a little bit... Sad? Yeah, maybe. How's Lils? She's good. We're just grabbing an early lunch. Do you want to talk to Daddy? Why aren't you racing anymore, Daddy? Well, because Daddy's retiring. Can I retire? <laughs> you need a job first, Lily. Hey, who's your favorite driver? I like Aiden. Aiden? Did Mommy tell you to say that? <laughs> Can you put her back on the phone? Aiden Jackson. Bye, Daddy. No, no, just hang on, Lily. Hello? Aiden Jackson. The roar of the crowd can only really mean one thing. Race day has arrived here in Abu Dhabi. It's time to join our teams who are getting ready down on the grid. We have 21 corners here at the Az Marina circuit, 12 to the left and nine to the right. It's a total lap distance of just over 3.4 miles. There are two long back straights opening up some passing opportunities into the braking zones. And we expect average lap speeds of around 123 miles an hour. Williams could catch Aston Martin today, but it's a pretty tall order. And are you still surprised they are where they are? I am, to be honest, yeah. When you look back at how they finished last season, the fight they had in Canada, the antagonism on and off track, these two really weren't getting on. I think a lot of people, myself included, had written them off. Well, they've been nothing if not surprising, the Williams pair. Of course, neither driver may be with them next season. Yeah, it's Ackerman's last race today. I'll certainly be sorry to see him go. And they say Jackson and Mercedes are in talks, so who knows? Well, Mercedes continue to be cagey about that open seat for next season, claiming that no decision's been made yet, and they'll see how this season concludes first. Let's run you through the driver grid order for today's exciting race. Lewis Hamilton lines up on pole position, and it's Valtteri Bottas that completes the front row. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Verstappen, Perez, Pierre Gasly, and Fernando Alonso. Leclerc, Butler, Norris, and Carlos Sainz. Sonoda, Ackerman, Aidan Jackson, and Stroll. Raikkonen, Ocon, Daniel Ricciardo, and Antonio Giovinazzi. Mazepin, and Mick Schumacher. And with lights out just moments away, it's time to go down to the track. Plenty of overtakes from this man, Ackerman, today, and here's another one to chalk off. This guy shouldn't be retiring from Formula One. And what's happening here? It looks like Stroll is retiring. And I'm not sure what the issue is, but there's a potential opportunity here for Williams, as it seems that Devon Butler's been left alone to see off the competition. And he's not having the best of days, Crofty. A few mistakes creeping in here and there, a few lockups. This race isn't over yet. Butler now, Casper. Outstanding work. We've got a chance here. Roger. Let's make that push. We're all behind you. I'm on it.
Evans currently in sixth place, P6. Places down on Devon. Okay, you're in the top ten. Devon's currently in sixth place, P6. move. Devon is three places ahead of you right now. Not far ahead now, Cass. Keep on it. Devon is directly ahead of you.
we're leading our teammate by 4.1 seconds. potentially on track to really upset Aston Martin here, with Ackerman leading Butler and Jackson not too far behind. Butler's closing in on Ackerman, he's trying to win that place back, but which way is he going to go? Down the inside he goes, and they've hit each other! That's really aggressive from Devon Butler, he sends both cars spinning out, Butler into the barrier, and that looks to be the end of the race for him! Too late on the brakes, I'm sure the stewards will be looking at this one after the race. But the Williams car's still moving. The Dutchman looks to be continuing, and It's great to see him still in this fight, Crofty, but he has suffered significant damage. There are points still up for grabs today, though, don't forget. Well, that is significant, but can Kasper Ackermann's Williams car finish? You OK, Kasper? The data they sent suggests the car is compromised. That's fine. I can finish. Uh, Butler's out of the race. Butler's out, we have a shot. Jackson's closing fast, Casper. Okay. You need to go for third, Aiden. Uh, Bobby, third. What about Casper? What, we let Aiden pass? Let Aiden pass. Do the best you can, Casper. How's the car? Good enough. Will you give a message to Aiden? You need to pass Casper, Aiden. Copy. He says you'd better get on that podium. And that will get the team fourth. Maybe, if Casper's car holds out. I guess I'd better get on that podium then. Okay, gap ahead is 3.2 seconds. Five laps of fuel remaining. Good job, nice overtake.
four laps of fuel remaining. behind is 7.7 .7 seconds. Two laps of fuel left. Final lap of the race.
Superb effort, mate. Well done. Just brilliant. Woohoo! And they've done it. What a season this has been for Williams. Even a race or two ago, you wouldn't have believed it, but they finished fourth in the constructors. If the rumours are to be believed, they'll be reluctant now to let young Aiden Jackson go. What a talent he's proved to be. And an incredible end to an incredible career for Kasper Ackerman, who somehow found his way back into the race after that nasty scrape with Butler. What a race here in Abu Dhabi. Cheers, mate. Thanks. Hey. Kasper! We did it. We did it. Have you seen the crash yet? Uh, no. What happened? No, I'll let you see it for yourself. And Butler's okay? Bruce Digo, perhaps. <laughs> anyway, I just came to congratulate you all. I bid you a fond farewell. It's been a pleasure. And I'll see you later. We'll celebrate. Uh, I'll stay for a bit. No, no, no. Oh, come on. What are they going to do? Discipline you? <laughs> This isn't my victory, Casper. This is ours. Some race. Yeah, some race. You know, you had us all worried for a moment out there. Brian, when have I ever let you down? You really want me to answer that? Best not. Hey, it's been a pleasure. Now the pleasure has been mine, Brian. Heck of a career you've had, Cass. Casper! And I think you'll want it. Casper! Casper! For heaven's sake, man, get out there. You've earned it. <laughs> <laughs>